Howdy Boot Community, MJ here. And today I wanted to do a boot comparison using my oldest boots and my newest boots. And I thought this comparison would be kind of cool because they're both lizard and they're both snip toe. So I can get a really good um, comparison and to show you all um, the differences um, and things that I like about each one and the things that I really don't like about each one. And, um, and maybe you could find that useful. Or just enjoy a video about boots too. So today we've got Tacova the Kid here going up against the Los Altos Dark Angel. And here we go. First, I'll go over my oldest boots here, um, which are the Los Altos Brown Sanded Lizard. And when I saw these, I really liked them at first. I was like, oh, these are the best. I really, really just thought they were just awesome looking. And then, you know, as I started wearing them, there's things that I like and things that I didn't care for so much. So I'll go over those a little bit first and then compare them to the Tacovas. And what I really like about the Los Altos are the color. I like the sanded um, matte color uh, finish of the lizard and I, I don't really care for the glossy lizard um, style for finish but I really like the the matte color and this brown is, is a nice color it goes with like any type of jeans basically it's got a little contrast with light in there as well and I always like the snip toe that's my favorite and I think something that's cool here with the all those altos is I've, you've got in the full strap a little bit inlay of the lizard too. So they get a little, um, you know, you get a little bit more there, a little more detail. So I like that. Um, everything else is, is pretty much okay. Something um, that I noticed right off the bat when I was looking at both these boots is that the shaft on my Los Altos is a good size. This upper is very wide and there's no problem putting my foot leg in there. Um, it, it's not narrow. It's, there's plenty of room. Um, I have no problem with it. And inside, and I have done a, an initial review of these um, in an older video, and it's really nice and soft. It's, I really like that. There's actually a picture of a lizard, Tehu lizard in there. It's, I don't know if you can see that, but um, there's a picture of a lizard in there. And there was one on the um, sub outer sole at one point, but I've walked it off. But um, what I don't care so much is um, when I've seen other boots, uh, particularly the, the Tacovas, is that the shaft, the leather just it seems a little waxy. Um, and it, it definitely holds, it's definitely held, because um, you can see it, it's still doing well, and I've had these for quite a while. Um, but it just seems like, um, I think the stitching is done by a machine. Um, I, I don't mind stitching design. I think it's cool, it, it give, it, but it's just generic and just the just the look of the leather. It, it just seems a little, um, I don't know, not not too um, flashy, but kind of a little on the dollar side. So it's just sort of it's just sort of there. I mean, it it works, but it when you look at other boots, it could be there. There's a lot better, and it could be a lot better. Um, the heel is fine. I don't have any problem with the heel, um, but I'll show you something in comparison to the Tacovas in a minute. But overall, yes, I'm satisfied. I like these. Uh, I get compliments, and I think they're really cool. Heading over to Tacova the Kid here. <laughs> um, when I first saw them, I liked the color, and for some reason, I sort of default to liking lighter colors in exotics for boots and just um, regular. Um, cowhide as well, or leather, or goat, but not. Um, I kind of default to the lighter um, tans and stuff. And so when I saw the color of these, I really, I was like, okay, I really want those. And um, I like it. It has a, a nice sort of, um, you know, dirty, dirty blonde look to it. And um, I, I noticed that the shaft, in comparison to the Los Altos, a right off the bat, I. I noticed it's a lot shorter and it's at least an inch shorter. So I noticed that right when I opened the box, I'm like, wow, these are, you know, they're smaller. 
and the width is also about an inch um, shorter than the Los Altos. So this was the first set of boots, because I have about four pairs of Los Altos, um, that when I put my foot in, it, or my, and my leg went into the shaft here, I could feel it, and it you know feels a little tight. You know, I'm not used to that, because the Los Altos, there's plenty of room. I just put my foot right in, it's comfortable, you know, the fit's perfect. And these are the same size. I wear a 9 E, and I've ordered them both. So all my Los Altos, 9 E, and these Tacovas are 9 E, and because um, my feet are wide. But um, so putting um, my putting these on, I can feel that the how the shaft, the upper, is a bit um, more narrow. And I don't know, maybe some people prefer a narrow. It feels like it gives you more fit, like a glove. And then maybe others might prefer a larger or wider shaft so you don't have any um, problems just you know you can put them on right away no no um, resistance you can get them on really easy I kind of prefer in this setting the wider shaft the larger and wider shaft and not like I'm kind of trying to put my leg or foot into like a tube <laughs> so it's just easier to put on so the Los Altos Dark Angel <laughs> wins on that one but Looking at the um, aesthetics of the shafts for each, I like, the, like I mentioned before, kind of gave it away, I do prefer lighter colors for some reason with boots. And um, this is a lighter color than the chocolate brown, um, lighter tan here. And I like the um, stitching a little better because it uses a different leather darker to get it build a contrast and then the stitching on top of it. And it's pretty simple. It just sort of kind of flares up like a feather on each of the um, panels. So there's a total of four where the Los Altos has the traditional, you know, multi-level, multi-layer stitching, um, multi-rows here. And it's kind of just, you know, flary pattern, which are cool. I like those, but um, I think the design and color of this shaft is what I prefer. So this is where um, Tacova the Kid would win out on that. But the size of the shaft on the Los Altos is what I prefer. I, I, I have no problem getting my leg in. This is a little bit tight. Um, but the color-wise of both of the vamps, you can see I prefer the lighter and um, even though the first time I saw the dark Los Altos, I was like, oh, those are incredible. I really like them. Um, since I tend to like dark, lighter colors better, these darks impressed me. And um, so that's a personal preference. But if I had to pick one just on color, I prefer the lighter vamp of the, the Tacovas. It's kind of a, it's not a clean, in the pictures online, it looked like a clean color, but to, it looked cleaner to me, but when I got these, I'm like, wow, it's got dirty blonde sand, dirty sand color, but which I really like too. So I was like, okay, these are cool. And um, also the colors with the light mahogany here matches with the vamp, I'm sorry, with the shaft a lot better and the vamp as well. It kind of, they kind of blend better where the brown, it, you know, it stays true to color. It's dark. It's like black the um, dye along the, uh, the heel and the sole. So this keeps a nice dark color. This keeps an, has a little bit of different layer colors and I kind of prefer that for the, um, the heel and the side of the sole, the coloring. And they're both been worn. So you can still see the Tacova's mark on here because they're the newest. And the bottom of the sole's got a cool color. Um, the Los Altos, you know, is a lot more worn, but, um, you know, the coloring was okay. So on the, regarding the coloring and the dye on the heel, I would probably go with the, the Tacovas. One thing, too, that I noticed when I was wearing the Tacovas, and I just recently was wearing these just to kind of get that feel for the comparison video, is that the Tacovas are heavier. I noticed that right away. Even though the Los Altos have the, the larger upper shaft, um, they, the Tacovas are heavy. And um, 
I don't know if that's a Tacovas thing versus a Los Altos thing or whatnot, or I only have these two to sample um, that are different, but um, I like it though. It, it, it gives it a real like solid feel on your foot when you're walking. Kind of like when you're like, if you close the door on the car that's light and flimsy, it just, you know, it just feels light and flimsy. But then when you close the door on a, a really solid, heavy duty car, a really nice luxury car you feel that like boom it closes yeah it, it just feels better so heaviness and feeling solid during wear the Tacova wins out and um, I was kind of surprised because I never really compared that too much because all my Los Altos feel the same and um, it, 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 they're just lighter in general and you know maybe that's a good thing so you know they're lighter and they don't feel as heavy and whatnot but I kind of like the heavier feel um, because it, it just makes it feel more solid and you know not that feeling light is a bad thing it may be good you know you feel it's like walking on air in a way you know but um, I don't know it just seems a little bit more solid so I, I kind of like that for now. Maybe it's just such a different feeling that that's why I'm liking it more. I don't know, but it, it, these definitely are heavy. When just holding them, I can tell the, the um, Tacovas are much heavier. Something else, and I mentioned this before, which is regarding the heels. <clears throat> and I, you know, I, I just noticed this really, but the heel on the Tacovas is larger and it's longer. And maybe that, you know, attributes you know, or contributes to the, um, the heavier feel overall. Um, but I, I was surprised. I kind of thought heels would be about the same. I know they're different heights. I mean, you have different types, but the lengths um, are definitely different. But if I put the front of this heel together with the front of that heel, you can see that the end of the Los Altos falls over a little bit. So putting the back, they're about there, yeah. It's close, the Tacoma is a little bit shorter, but anyway, so that, that's just minor details in the way they're constructed and whatnot. Because like I said, they're both the, or ordered the same size. Something that, so regarding heels, I don't think it really matters in the comparison. Something that does matter is, is feel. And every time I purchased a pair of Los Altos, they've always fit perfectly. So I've gone into a store to try them on, they fit great. And then I've also ordered them online as well. And what I ordered fits exactly like the ones that I um, tried on in the store. So regarding fit, Los Altos I have no problem with. And I've never have, so I just sort of put that away, you know, regarding fit. Um, I've seen in some other videos, some other boot reviews that, uh, you know, people were having issues with fits with certain types of, of boots. And it always kind of like, well, okay, I just figure everyone's foot's different, whatever, so it's no big deal. But um, since I pretty much had always had Los Altos and I have one pair of Rio Grande, I didn't have any problem with those. Um, but every Los Altos ones that I have um, fits great. They fit fine. They, they're, they're very easy to predict. There's no, no variability. Well, the funny thing is with the Los Altos, this is the first time I've experienced this. I'm sorry, the um, Tacovas, Tacova the kid here. <laughs> um, the right foot, the right vamp um, upper part right here on the right boot fit me a lot tighter than the left. The left fit fine. The right it was a little uncomfortable tight and I checked the inside to make sure they were both the, the same size and I compared them next to each other and you know it wasn't like I got one different or whatnot it it was just it, it was tighter a little bit uncomfortable so I kind of changed socks and um, decided hey I'll have time to break them in you know just wear it but eventually I got to the point where it doesn't bother me anymore so um, I've either worn it and stretched it a little bit or just gotten used to it or whatnot or whatever. But um, 
Yeah, and that was odd to me, and it, it kind of bothered me at first. I was a little bit worried, thinking, oh no, how come this one feels so much, this one feels really much tighter, and that one feels great. Um, and Because that was totally foreign to me, because like I said, the Los Altos, always, no problem with fit. They all fit perfectly. Well, you know, I know they're handcrafted, you know, boots are handcrafted, and, you know, there's going to be some variability. It's not like these boots are all coming off a production line. Parts, I think, of Los Altos are machine but others are handmade, the bottoms, and I know that Tacovas are handmade, um, or as they say in their um, boot, in their um, information. But um, I, I've gotten past that, the tightness, and I, I did have to work with it a little bit. So in that respect, the Los Altos wins for consistency of um, fit. Never a problem with, with any of my Los Altos. Um, I know I can order them and they're going to fit fine. These Tacovas, I'm going to have a little, um, if I was to order another pair of Tacovas, I am going to be a little hesitant because I'm, I really don't want to have to go through that fit thing again. And, you know, maybe they will, maybe they won't eventually come around. I don't want to have to deal with any return on them, all that kind of stuff. But I'd rather just have them fit good right out of the box. Um, like all oh, Los Altos, I know, are going to fit. So in that respect, like I mentioned, Los Altos wins. Um, other aspects that of each boot um, regarding customer service. A, I've never really had to have problems with customer service because I've always been fine with my Los Altos. Um, Tacovas, I did contact them um, a couple times regarding my order and the customer service was good at the Tacovas company. Um, it took a couple days, um, you know, but I did get email responses back and they were direct on um, answers to my questions. Um, so they know what they're talking about. And um, I um, had no problems with their, with their customer service regarding their boot. So I would say I call that pretty even because I never even had to contact anyone about Los Altos, um, the store or company or anything because I never had a problem with them. Um, which is good. So I, I'm, I'll call that category even. Regarding pricing, they're about the same price. They were around, I think, about three fifty each, three hundred fifty dollars each. Um, I know the Hank, which is um, the Tacova here. That's the model um, of Tacova, the kid here. <laughs> um, the prices dropped when because it was a limited edition boot, so it was about three fifty or so when it came out, or at least when I saw it. And then toward the holidays, it, the price dropped. But they only had so many sizes in stock, so I mean the prices does drop, which is which would be a benefit for this side. But on the flip side, the Los Altos, I can get this boot today if I want to. Um, the Hank was a limited edition, and if you didn't get it, you didn't get it. And if you didn't get your size, then you're really in trouble. I really had to search for this. I mean, it, it was because I came kind of late to the game regarding Los Altos. I'm, I'm sorry, Tacovas. And um, then, you know, I only saw this, like, you know, not too long ago. And, um, and then trying to get one in my size was, um, it wasn't happening online. I had to go to a store and have them then search around. And luckily they found a store that had one pair and it happened to be my size. So it was really lucky. So I had to come from out of state and not from the store that's near me. Um, but ultimately I did get one, but regarding um, availability, Los Altos will win out because you can find, if you like a Los Altos boot, you're gonna find your size. It will just be ordered and you, you will get it. This uh, Tacovas are a little, you have to f know up front and that you like it. And um, if you see it online, you got to order it your size right away. And don't, don't delay. Um, or go to the store and get it right away or get it ordered. Because um, if these limited editions, once they go, they, they're going to be gone. And I really liked this one. And I think of all the exotics, Lizard is my favorite. Um, I do have um, a caiman, an ostrich, um, but I I think lizard. Uh, I tend to like that the best, and I thought that's why that's why this would be a good comparison because it's the same um, hide, 
um, for comparisons. And it, there's a light, a light and a dark here. So um, that's why I thought these would be good to compare. So overall, if I had to pick one, I mean, it comes out almost pretty even on all the categories, um, the pricing and, um, you know, looks, you know, um, the wins and losses for each one sort of almost even out. I, if I had to pick one, I probably would still go with the Tacovas, Tacova the kid here. And for me, that's more or less just disregarding all the other factors. If I just went by what, what do you do when you wear boots, you, you, you see them and you feel them. And I like the lighter colors. And now that, that the vamp on the right one has sort of broken in and I don't have that tightness anymore, I would, I'll stick with them. Even though, you know, the, the upper and the shaft, it's a little pain getting my foot and leg through versus this. Ultimately, I, will, I would probably go with the Tacovas. Um, not that these would be that much far behind. Um, these do feel solid when walking, but then these feel lighter and, you know, it, it you know, it's easier to work, to, to um, walk on. So, but ultimately I'd probably go with the Tacovas. Um, I still like Los Altos. Um, like I said, I mentioned, I have, um, three other pair and have no problem getting any more because I know I could order them and they're going to fit. Um, and oh, another reason I really liked both of these, um, it, it's even, is that they're not just lizard, but they're like a matte colored. They're not the shiny, um, glossy type of lizard. So that's my comparison. Ultimately, I would go with Tacova the Kid winning this match over Los Altos Dark Angel, but it, it was close. It, it went all the way to the time limit. <laughs> But um, I think that's it for this boot review. Um, I'll probably do another one um, showing wearing them um, coming up next so you can compare um, how they look. But um, ultimately, you know what? They're both winners. They, um, they're both great boots. To me, the, the look, the, the feel, um, just the enjoyment of wearing them. Um, that's part of... Uh, you know, wearing boots and collecting them. Anyway, that's it for this video and looking forward to the next.